A reading from the book of Numbers. Then all the congregation raised a loud cry, and the people wept that night. And all the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron. The whole congregation said to them, Would that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would that we had died in this wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us into this land to fall by the sword? Our wives and our little ones will become booty. Would it not be better for us to go back to Egypt? So they said to one another, Let us choose a captain and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the Israelites. And Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to the congregation of the Israelites, The land that we went through as spies is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. This is the word of the Lord. O Clavis David, O Key of David, the scepter of the house of Israel, that openest and no man shutteth, and shuttest and no man openeth, come and bring the prisoner out of the prison house. In the painting we see Moses standing before the Israelite people, pleading with them to enter the land promised for them. The people stand below. They are fed up with wandering in the wilderness, and the din of their disapproval can nearly be seen. They want to return to Egypt. But Moses' hand stretches out, pointing the way to that place flowing with milk and honey, desperately pointing the way to the fulfillment of their covenant with their Lord their God. For God had brought them up out of slavery for freedom. So too comes the key of David, and the rod of Israel, the Son of God, who sits at the right hand of the Lord. He comes to release his creation from its slavery to sin, its imprisonment in death. As Paul wrote to the Galatians, Christ has set us free that we might have freedom. So stand fast and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Like Moses before the people of Israel, his glory beckons, calling, urging the prisoner to liberty. Unlike Moses, the scepter of David will set the people on his own course. He is himself the gate of salvation. He is this because he is free. He is not bound to rescue his creature, humanity, from its enslavement. From his own divine freedom, he will himself overcome mankind's obstinate refusal of emancipation. He will himself go down to Egypt to bind himself in our chains, to finally, completely burst them, to open them that no man shutteth. What is the glory coming into the world? It is the glory of Christ, our freedom. Thank you.
Il était 